good to see you, Frankie. Uh, how are you, Brendan? All right, sir? I'm very good, mate. I'm very good. Why was Dave? It Dave's spot on, actually, Frank. He's just, uh, he's in the neighbours. He might pop in in a minute and say hello. I've seen him. Um, I was at a gig he's doing this week. He's been down to uh, Hastings this week. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I may, I may ask you, I may have to get you to get the f- money out of the guy for me. He's not paying me yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, I better introduce the programme. <laughs> right. Hi, folks. Welcome to an edition of Five Minute Football, although it's <clears throat> long, longer than five minutes. And I'm here with uh, football expert Brendan McGurr and the legend, the legend that is Frank McAvenny. We're really proud to have you, Frank. No problem. Thanks, Liam. Thanks for having me on. Thanks, Brendan. Yeah. Um, so you you and Brendan go back a long way, don't you? <laughs> yeah. yeah, we do. But that's, that's for another show. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I said, Frank. <laughs> yeah. Can't talk yeah. about that. What do you want to ask him, Brendan? Listen, I, I just want to... Frank has got the best football stories. I've, I've been to Frank's <clears> show. <throat> talking, you are in absolute hysterics. He's got the funniest, most hilarious <laughs> guy of football. He was a superb player, but he just took the piss out of the game as well. He loved it. Yeah, do you know what? I, I, I was at... I didn't start, I didn't come into football till I was late, Brendan, you know, I didn't come into it was nearly 19. And it, and I was just I was a supporter before I was a I was a player. So I know what the, I know what the, the fans wanted. You know, the fans just they, they accept that you're having a bad game and you and as long as you give them hundred percent. And if you give them hundred percent, it means that you can go out and nobody's gonna bother you. And you know, and I, I used to enjoy both sides of it. I used to enjoy the on a pitch. And I loved going out. You know, I loved going out and I loved female companies, you know, and I just, I loved, I loved you guys' company. You yeah. know, all these guys, you know. I'm surprised to hear that you you went out a lot, Frank. I, I didn't know that that was part of your life. We helped bring him out of his shell, we did, yeah. Yes, I was very shy to admit you guys. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it says, it says in your contract, maybe they shouldn't do this, but... Uh, the players to their team might be a bit overboard. It says in the contract you can't go out 40 hours before a game. So I used to make sure that, you know, I was home 49 hours before a game or something. You know, you know I was a total professional. <laughs> no, but I gave myself, I knew myself, Liam and Brendan, Brendan knows, I, I gave myself enough time. I was young and I was fit. And I, and I knew if I thought I couldn't do it, if I thought it was interfering with my football life, then... You know, I would have stopped it, but none of my play- none of my teammates complained because they knew I'd run more than anyone on a Saturday. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, what was and, the and type I, of places you used to go? Were you were you a string fellows man, Frank? I, well, I used to go. I, I got on well with Peter. I thought it was it was brilliant. I used to love just watching him doing his bit. I used to walk about and eat a champagne glass, and it was never full of champagne. You know, it was <laughs> sometimes it was water because he's a businessman. He would walk about and he was just. Into your be self and mm-hmm. and um, you know and then other times I'd walk in. <clears throat> the the thing I used to go to Stringfellas for because when I went down to sign mm-hmm. with my pal, I got an old back. I got an old back at the door, and I thought well, that will never happen to me again. So um, so that's why I used to I used to go in and wind them up all the time. Yeah, but but he said in a documentary, Liam, he says he he didn't like footballers in in his club. I saw like that it. documentary. I, saw, I was watching it the other night. It was uh, uh, interesting. You know, I was very, I was very pleased about that because, you know, listen, I was brought up in the right way. It doesn't cost, doesn't cost you anything to be pleasant to people, be nice to people, and just you know say hello to them. It doesn't matter if you're a superstar or, or just a normal footballer or a normal guy. It does, you just say hello to people. It's, it makes a day. You know they're nice, and especially staff walking behind the bar for. You know, and working the, the doorman, you know, the doorman were great with me because yeah. I used to stand and chat with them. I had normal jobs before football. We did, what, what type of yeah. jobs did you have? I had 12 or some 12. I was a milkman. <laughs> I was, uh, I was, <laughs> I was a painter and decorator. I was a mechanic. The best job I had was uh, I worked in the, the whiskey bonds, white horse, white horse whiskey. And I used to, I went in there and I used to work. With a lot of, I used to be up in the factory. They moved me around a lot because I wasn't very good at a lot of jobs. <laughs> and I ended up up in the, up in the parking with the, the girls and all that. Or the girls used to do the parking. And I used to drive the fork truck. So I passed my test in the fork truck. Oh, look who's joined us. <laughs> do you know each other? 
I love you. <laughs> Dave, how are you, sir? Good, man. I'm all good. All good in the Cockney camp. Good, pal. Good, mate. What's that flag behind you? That's not a Ukraine flag, is it? <laughs> <laughs> We're everything. We take that way. <laughs> Brilliant. So you, so you, you know can... each other really well. Are you allowed to tell any stories about uh, Frank, Dave? You... Oh, first, when I first met him at the Fringe. That is how long I know him. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> My God, that, that was about four in the morning or something, wasn't it? <laughs> so, Frank, did, did you hang around dodgy people then? Well, no, I, I was hanging around the dodgy girl when she introduced me to the dodgy people. <laughs> <laughs> that was so beautifully put, Frank. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, it was good. Listen, these are these these guys are the salt of the earth, you know. It's yeah. I don't. I, I go on with them. I go on great with everyone, but these guys are the salt of the earth. So yeah. You were, you were a well worthy idol when we actually met you, right? Just let me... <laughs> it was good fun, Dave, wasn't it? <laughs> and Frank was proper humble when you went out. Superstar yeah. that you were, you were a proper gentleman to everyone. You was a proper genuine uh, how you should behave, even when you was in that position. You really were. And you were a funny, funny... <laughs> yeah, just <laughs> <cheers, cheers. laughs> It's very, very funny. <laughs> even in this... That reminds me, you're going to Hastings at the weekend. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. I, I, I was there last week. He's not fucking paid me yet. <laughs> 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 I'm a mod. Yeah. He's now saying he's in hospital. Hell. <laughs> Dave left to get you the money. You left to get you the money. Uh, Frank, did you hang around with the, the ICF? I, I I watched a bit. I knew I listen, I knew the boys, I knew Carl and you see, I knew all the boys, you know. And the first the first one I met out uh, uh, all the boys was the uh, it was Bill Garner, the big yeah. the big one. Yeah. And he was at the training ground. And you know what I'm like, I thought I thought he walked to the training ground. I didn't know it Bill. So I'm just standing and talking to him. And he couldn't believe it. I thought it was one of the guys that worked here, you know, he couldn't believe it. <laughs> I'm standing and talking to him. And then he, he, he clicked on it. I thought he worked here. <laughs> but he, he says that made it even better because I'm just a, yes, no, I thought he was a worker. Yeah. You know, I, I talk, you know me, you know me, guys, I talk to everybody. It's just it's just the way I am. You know, you know in my life, I'll go, who's Frank McAvenny? <laughs> Always, always saying. What was I your best you memory? Me, my best memory of going out or going on the park. Well, you, you, when you thought, oh, I've cracked this now, I've got the, the, the ladies, I've got, you know, a bit like that George Best moment. I went on Wogan. That was, my, that was a life-changing moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was a life-changing There was 23 million people watching the show. Yeah, yeah. So and that, then... was a, that was a life-changing moment. But the... the I don't know, the, the looks went up, you know, the, the girls were getting better looking as after Morgan. We <laughs> <laughs> couldn't go any lower. Come on. No, hey, well, yeah, I had a low verse to start with. Yeah. <laughs> Look at me, I'm just, I just go on a oh, roundabout guy and I just enjoy ladies' company. Yeah. You know, so I was, it was good fun. I enjoyed myself. You'd have good fun and enjoy yourself. I can assure you that. But every other girl in whatever I want them. It wasn't a direct great night for them, I can assure you. By the time it was the end of the night, I wanted to fuck him. I know. <laughs> it was brilliant. Brendan, do you remember the time I went over? I was supposed to see David sometime. I went over early and he thought, what the fuck? He came in and I was sitting talking to his missus. And he's fucking <laughs> looking his face. <laughs> so, but what beautiful, beautiful memories we had in them time. I know, mate. I know, I know. I know. Do you still go out now, the, the lot of you? Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. We've met up not long ago. It's only about 18 months ago, I think, Frank, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a couple of years ago, was it not? Yeah, it's a few years ago now, probably, yeah. 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 Oh, how do you, um, Frank, how do you think they look these days? Have they grown they look, old beautifully? They look, oh, they, look, they look great, same as we're all getting on. We're all getting on, but you just don't let it. It's only a number. <laughs> right, I've it's just spent, spent nine grand on eyeball lifts and all that great. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say that. Now, don't forget, but as a nice watch you've got <laughs> so what's your greatest football memory it's supposed to be a football thing it's not that we care but... oh. um, well, for West Ham it had to be there's two two big things come out my first game my last game mm -hmm. you know my first home game um, I moved up front I scored two goals in front of you know chicken run it was brilliant it was just 
for me it was um because it wasn't let's be honest they, I mean, you, you play football you play at a club at, at West Ham you come down from from Scotland and they don't have a right to to like you but but if you said this year you're putting a shift in they'll like you and what I did that night I put a good shift in I scored two goals mm-hmm. and you know they couldn't pronounce my name <laughs> but it was great to, to hear them try and then you think because let's be honest I mean even a, even a, a job knows West Ham won the won the World Cup so that's that's the thing for me yeah, I was very I was very honoured one of the stories you told me proper changed my life in Intense. Yeah. It made it actually made me go on to do the audience with because I hadn't done any of that when I'm the first. I, I, you know what I mean? I hadn't done any of that. The, the, the one with the, the, at the World Cup, the goalkeeper with the Lucas A ball. He, he was playing against Brazil, Alan Roth, and and Zico came on in the pitch and they were one, one, one nil. And Zico had it for about 25 yards. And he said, just as it got to me, and gosh, the wind took it, he says. <laughs> so gosh, the wind took it. And it, it, smashed was, yeah. off, it smashed off the bar. And it came down and Socrates came diving in and headed it back up to the same post, same bar, same corner. And Alan Roth saved it. He was up there and, it, and he came down. And, <laughs> he was there for the first shot. Yeah, the first. The so- Socrates said to him in his <laughs> best Scottish accent, you know, what a great fucking save. <laughs> and Alan says, I was going for the first shot. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that was the best. That was, Alan's, Alan's a funny guy. Yeah. Uh, why, did you, why didn't you sign for Arsenal? Why was why was it always West Ham? Um, because I'm, I'm loyal. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm very loyal. And I, and I was loyal with jo- John Lyle. John Lyle gave me the chance. And I, and I knew... They're going to hang them mad. I knew Arsenal were going to win the league, but I knew West Ham were getting relegated. And what he said to me is, I want you to bring us back up. Mm-hmm. And I says, Yeah, no problem. And it, it couldn't really, like, get... uh, Do you regret that? No, you, you could have had a championship no. medal. Nah, but playing for Arsenal, balls to that, no. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Who, 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 it was a decision that I made. Look, no matter, no matter what happened. I was out that night, so I'm I'm talking. To, I've spoke to John now, and I've spoke to George Graham, and then George is looking at me and he said to me, "What would you think?" I said, "Well, I'll, I'll give him an answer tomorrow." And he says, "Why are we going out?" And I says, "I'm going to Trump." He says, "What?" I said, "I'm going to nightclub." <laughs> I went upstairs and there was two page three girls in the in the room getting changed, and I went downstairs and I said to George. God, you see the white come by the fucking look in his face. <laughs> <laughs> I think he knew then. Yeah, I think, <laughs> yeah, I think he knew then. I wasn't, I wasn't saying it. Yeah. Uh, I, listen, I loved you know John Mayo. He was a wonderful, mm. wonderful man. So, yeah. 